morning children welcome back to our science class previous class we discuss about insectivorous plants what plants are now in our second lesson adaptations in plants adaptations in plants in the second lesson one more topic we learned in the previous class that is only in unusual plants those are unusual plants in that unusual plants we learn insectivorous plants insectivorous plants what are insectivorous plants what are insectivorous plants plants that eat or sub insects those plants are insectivorous plants so some of the special it means the leaves only modified into the special special features then the leaves only trap the insects because of that the leaves only trap the insects then insects only trap them modified a special feature like is the shape of the leaves are different from the normal leaves and that only insectivorous plants those are the features those features are adopted in these plants and these those are modified into the some special so that in that modified leaves these leaves only trap the insects and uh, which areas only which plants only in where the plants are grown these insectivorous plants are grown the lack of the such a soil sir lack of the nutrients or very less nutrient soil in those soil only these insectivorous plants can grow because these plants are not a sufficient nutrients to get the sufficient nutrients so for the nutrients for extra nutrients these plants only trap the insects these plants only trap the insects so what are all these are in the previous classes we learned now already one example also we learned what are the plants in the insectivorous plants pitcher plant pitcher plant venus fly trap venus fly trap sandio and drosera and drosera these are some of the examples of insectivorous plants already in the picture plant features in the previous class we learned now we are going to learn one more plant how these venus fly trap trap the insect how these venus fly trap trap the insect that we will discuss now okay venus fly trap it is one of the plant in the name only the trap trap means what ma to catch trap means to catch so how this plant uh, catch the insect how this plant trap the insect in a picture plant the shape of the picture plant is like this okay picture one lid is there one kucha type something one pot type of the shape of. that is picture plant but here the venus fly trap had the leaves are folded into two halves here normally the leaf is like this in the previous we learned that the leaf is like this in normal all the plants normal plants but this venus fly trap leaves are those are divided into two equal halves it means two equal halves like this see how these leaves are so this is the venus fly trap see children how this venus fly trap this venus fly trap leaves had have leaves have a two equal halves it folded like a fold how it is normally we see that this is the one and if it is folded how we see if it is folded like this so it is folded like this two equal halves it looks like a two equal halves and here the leaves have a hair with them the edges have hair these leaves edges have hair here children the 
it is what are the features of this venus fly trap how it trap the insects it lays these plants leaves have some special features what are the special features have thus the shape of the leaf have folded into two equal halves that is one feature and uh, the next one is these leaves have a long hair on the edges long hair on the edges they edges see this one edges they hair on them like a long edges means so these leaves have a long hair on the edges so these two features are modified means so these two features are adopt this plan to trap the insects if how many means that and uh, the attractive color also here in this venus fly trap see this one it's looking like a flower it's not a animal thing that it is not a leaf it looks like a flower how it means because of leaves means everyone knows that leaves had a green in color the presence of chlorophyll but this venus fly trap leaf had see this one such a very beautiful color red color so the insect thought it is a flower insect thought it is a flower then any insect touches this leaf this venus fly trap if any insect touches this leaf if any insect touches this leaf these are just now i like told you the hair only edges on this leaf the automatically what will happen na if the insect only touches these leaves touches the hair of this leaf that is the hair of this leaves if a pack this leaf only there if the insect only touches here slowly the leaf only closes instantly leaf only closes instantly the hair only trap the insect like this trap the insect actually the leaf is like this but if any insect only touches your edges of the leaf then slowly it means sir it touches here if the insect is here slowly slowly it get inside the leaf then automatically the folded leaves only slowly it closes instantly like this only happen for example this suppose this is the insect it touches here actually like this it touches like this then what will happen ma think that this is the insect so unexpectedly this insect only touches here slowly the hair only slowly it pushes the insect inside pushes the insect inside automatically the folded leaf only closes instantly closes here then uh, the pressure of the leaf after some time the pressure of the leaf the insect uh, dies the insect dies because there is no choice to come outside from the leaf because it's folded because it's folded so in this way this venus fly trap trap the insect this venus fly trap trap the insect so this way after some time the fully the digest after the insect only sometime later it digest because it dies that a leaf only take in the nutrients from the insect later whenever it completely take the nutrients later it slowly open here what is the dyed insect what is their children dyed that body of the insect so later again it will be normal again it will be normal so in this way venus fly trap trap the insects okay children do you understand ma so the features of the the folded leaves and the hair of this venus fly trap and the venus fly trap trap the insects and it takes the nutrients from the insects so these are the ways this plant only trap the insects and it takes the nutrients from the insect okay children this is about insectivorous plants 
This is about insectivorous plants. Do you understand now? Now, which which plants? Once again, I will repeat you. Plants that eat insects. Those plants are insectivorous plants. What are the examples of the insectivorous plants? Pitcher plant, Venus flytrap, Sundew, Drosera. Drosera. So these are some of the examples of these insectivorous plants. Okay children? Now we will go to the one more topic. The last topic in this lesson is plants the grass family. Grass family. Do you know children? Grass family. Till now many topics we learned. What are the topics? Like terrestrial plants, aquatic plants, insectivorous plants, different kinds of plants we learn. Now, one more topic, grass family plants. How the grass family plants grow and which, what are the grass family plants, we will discuss now. You know children, what are the grass family plants? You are eating morning, early morning means from morning to at night we are eating different kinds of food. Like a breakfast, lunch and night dinner. Different types of food items we are eating. We are eating different kinds of food. Here all these food we are getting from the plants. We are getting from the plants. Grass family plants it means plants like cereals. Plants like cereals. Those family are the grass family plants. Cereals means rice, wheat, rice, wheat, maize, or cereal plants, grass family plants. You know very well about rice, wheat and maize. Rice means? These are the staple food. Means we are using for the food purpose. Rice. We are eating rice now. Afternoon lunch. Night dinner we are taking. Wheat, puri, chapati. Those we are eating that. These are the food. Means these food items we are taking from the cells. And uh, grass family means uh, not only for these. Uh, rice we are eating. After these, these plants uh, are the grass family. After collecting the, these products from the plants, that grass only is, that is, it is the waste material. That grass only, it is the food for animals. Cereals only we are using. Because this rice plants means you know that this is a grass. You see, any time you see that rice means it is a grass. That uh, cereals means you see these are. We are getting that paddy. We did not directly get the rice from the plant. We directly did not get the rice from the plant. Only we are getting the cereals. It means the paddy we are getting from the rice. So from that paddy to again we are polishing from some mills too. We are going and we are preparing that rice. So after collecting this paddy, these are grass only we are removing from the plant. Patting only, we are removing from the plant. So, remaining this grass was used by for the, this is, this is the, of our animal's food. These farmers only using this grass for animals. The animals only eat this grass. So, this is the one of the very useful grass for the animals. That is very important. And uh, next, not only that one. What are the uses of this uh, grass family? That uh, what are the uses? Not only that. And bamboo we are using. Do you know children? Bamboo. It is a giant family. Bamboo. It is a giant grass. It is a giant grass. Cereals. It is one of the grass. And bamboo. It is also another type of grass. Bamboo. 
Vedru. Vedru and Tantana, that is bamboo grass. These are so many places, so many areas, these bamboo plants only, very much they are using them. They build the houses also, these bamboo sticks. They build the houses also, these bamboo sticks. And the bamboo, it means um, the grass, uh, many purpose we are using them. What are the, how it was using that bamboo grass, it means, we are uh, early morning, your mom only sweep the house. That broom, brooms are made with that bamboo grass. Brooms. She brand up the Brooms. It means uh, we are using making brooms by the bamboo grass and not only that uh, mats, mats. Chapel used to use the mats, we are sleeping on that mats in that uh, outside the golden days they were very really using it but nowadays very really less we are using it but that mats, brooms, mats and uh, still baskets. Baskets, etc. We are using by this bamboo grass. Bamboo grass is used for brooms, cheaper look. So these are the very important thing. And mats, mats also very important thing. Baskets, all these are uh, used by the bamboo plant. And not only that, still dry and grass. And these are the used by this bamboo grass. And uh, one more grass that is only the dry and grass. Do you know dry and grass? Whenever in the mango season, we bought that mangoes. Some of the mangoes are uh, raw fruits. Whenever that raw fruits only becoming to the ripen, then we are applying some of the dry and grass. And the gutty vessel don't look. So, whenever we add in this dry grass, then it automatically becomes a dry. The raw fruits only become ripe when we add these dry grass. So, these dry grass only used for the packing materials. Used for the packing materials. Packing materials. So, all this purpose we are using this grass family. So, cereals like a rice, wheat, maize, these are all food purpose. We are using and bamboo, the giant grass. We are using this bamboo grass for brooms, mats and the baskets. And some of the places are, these are the built their houses with bamboo sticks. And not only that, do you know, bamboo chicken also we have made there. Some of the places. So for that, these bamboos are using and uh, dryer grass also used for packing materials and they pack it on boxes in the a fine grass tester. So that purpose we are using the dried grass and uh, one more important one. What is that? These plants uh, absorb the soil. Not only this food purpose, all this purpose. And uh, these uh, plants only hold the soil. These roots only hold the soil. They prevent the soil erosion. Do you know children soil erosion? About the soil erosion we will discuss in the next classes. Because of these roots only hold the soil. Hold the soil. Whenever it hold the soil, it prevent the soil erosion. If any floods, water only, rain only, heavy rain only there means that water and everything the roots only absorb. Then it is the soil only absorb the water particles then it become a tight. The soil only become a tight. So we prevent the soil erosion. That is the one of the main important of these plants. Soil erosion. And the next one we are using from morning to evening especially the children. It means the students. We are using the paper. We are using the paper. That paper also we are getting from the plants. That paper also we are getting from the grass plant. Grass family plant. Now only we are discussing about the grass family. Okay. So various grasses are used for making paper. Various grasses are used for making paper. 
various grasses are used for making paper do you know children paper is a one of the very 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 important part in our life because without paper can we write anything no we cannot write anything paper it means either that is a small or newspaper or whatever that it is a paper so we are writing we are reading everything in that paper only so the first paper was made up of the egyptians egypt people the first paper was made of egyptians egypt lo started first of all the first paper was the paper was first made by the people of egypt paper was first made up of by the egypt people so where the which plant gives the paper do you know children these egyptians these egypt people find out the paper for the plant that is only the papyrus papyrus p a p y r u s papyrus this is the plant the grass family plant it is a grass family plant the papyrus for this plant only they collect the juice liquid of this plant and uh, they give to the some of the machinery a long process after it made a paper that first paper only made this easy to people from the papyrus plant from the papyrus plant this papyrus plant only it is also a grass family plant it is also a grass family plant so p a p y r u s the egyptians only made this plant paper from the papyrus plant for that many years later it's not a now many years later from that to till now we are using these plants only for the paper okay directly we cannot get rid of paper from this plant some of the important products we are taking this plant after some many many things later it was made up as a paper that paper all over the world we are using now okay okay children this is about the grass family plant okay cereals we are using rice wheat maize for food okay ma next bamboo it is a giant grass that giant grass we are using for the brooms your mom is sweeping the rooms the brooms mats and the baskets all these purpose we are using the bamboo grass and uh, next the dried grass these dried grass we are using for the packed materials from transport purpose we are using this packed materials and uh, some of the family this uh, packing it means uh, they prevent the soil erosion because these roots only hold the soil to prevent the soil erosion and uh, the one more important grass family plant papyrus this papyrus plant only preparing the made the paper that paper was first made by the egypt people okay this is about the grass family the uses of the grass family okay children do you understand what now in this lesson adaptation in plants we learned uh, many things sir. okay like a terrestrial plants about terrestrial plants on the land and in the water right floating plants fixed plants and the underwater plants and next third topic insectivorous plants so how the picture plant trap the insects how the venus fly trap trap the insects that about insectivorous plants and the last topic grass family plants so all these plants are very 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 useful for animals and for human beings so without these plants we cannot live okay children so these are all the very useful and uh, 
what features also we learned okay ma so next lesson we will discuss in the next class okay